Right, so deadlifts are done, and like considering the fact that I've never actually done a pure, 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 pure strength phase to this degree where I've pushed myself quite so much, this week has probably been the hardest in terms of the deadlift. Like 165 at my current was freaking grindy like i think i rested five to eight minutes between sets and it took every inch of the willpower to get that fourth rep up every single set it was it was hard um i strapped in as well because i was using a thicker barbell um, than usual so there, there are two barbells here for the weightlifting and the one is really really thick in comparison to the normal weightlifting elico bars and I, I couldn't even grip it properly like I felt like my grip would go before I finished all four reps so I was strapped in and it was it was hard like like I can't deny like it took a lot of willpower to get through those four sets. Um, I was like, you know, maybe I'll just do three, but I, w I stuck to my guns. I did all four sets. I'm freaking happy that I did because I, f I was tired today. I'm tired today. So I did my deadlifts and then I did ring dips. So I did my four sets of four on ring dips. Happy with that. It's just not as taxing as the deadlifts. So it's like once I was done with the deadlifts, I was like, okay, I can do this. Like I've, I've got this. The hardest part of the workout is done. So deadlifts were done. Ring dips were done. Four sets of four, four sets of four. Remember on your warm up weight leading up to your working weight, you're also doing four reps with every single set. So those two elements were the hardest section of today and now it's fun and games because it's arms so because we've already done dips uh we've already done essentially one tricep exercise so i'm going to do a superset of biceps and triceps um and that's going to be fun because it's it's a really easy superset and that i'm using the same dumbbell for both exercises um and I just kind of like go through and pump like back front, like we did with quads and the hamstrings. We're hitting both the back and the front of the arm at the same time. Maximum fucking stretch of the arm tissue, maximum hypertrophy, uh, maximum fucking gain. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do as many fucking reps as we can, pump the blood into the muscle. Um, and this is a freaking freaking awesome set. Um, we're not going to be doing a lot of other exercises today because like the deadlifts fry my central nervous system, the ring dips were solid. So it's just like a bit of arms. You don't need to go crazy with the arms because you use your arms in so many other exercises. So it's not like you're going to go, I'm going to do, you know, an hour and a half of fucking biceps. You know, you don't need to do that. Um, especially if you're doing chin-ups and that sort of thing because you're using your biceps in a lot of other exercises. Okay, so I'm using a high incline bench. I like using a high incline bench because I find that top end, end of the, the bicep curl that you often neglect, um, you can hit when you're doing an incline bench. I'm going to move the bench so you can see from the side. This is not working. Right. Right, so you can see when I go here, I can get the top end of the bicep curl and we are like hitting it to failure. Remember we start off strict so you can get a nice full stretch. You know how I like to stretch out my ex uh, at the bottom of the range. So we're gonna full, fully extend the arm. Okay, don't even stay in tension, literally straight out all the way and then all the way up, nice full squeeze at the top. When we can't do strict, I'm gonna switch to swing, control the negative until I can't do partials. And then we're gonna go straight into triceps straight off the bicep so it's a nice fucking super set. Right.
Lift it up. You can just swivel it. Oh, fuck. 
Fuck. Tu vois, tu vois. Fuck it, man. That was six or eight whiffs. That was today's fucking epic superset. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so you are literally going to failure. Just make sure you match your left and your right arm with the triceps. Um, if you are like me and you like literally lose count, um, problematic. But obviously, I started with my stronger arm. So even if I did a few extra reps on my left arm, like that was fine because left arm needs to catch up anyway. You know, it's weaker. Uh, so it's like, bitch, if I did six arms with six reps with my left, with my right arm and you do eight, I don't care. Like you gotta, you gotta catch up. So <laughs> left arm just made sure I like, I got it in as, as much or if not more reps than my right arm because it simply is weaker than my, um, in my dominant arm um so that was today's superset like i'm gonna do another so it's essentially you're doing six sets so you do three take a nice long rest let everything recover make sure you drink plenty of fluids between supersets because that extra fluid that extra sodium intake is really gonna help um just get extra extra blood flow, extra fascia stretching going on in the arm tissue, which is exactly what we want because we want maximal, maximal fucking gains in the arms. Like, like, I don't think I could get any more pumped in the arms right now. So, fucking epic superset. So, that is the secret is just keep on going because you're working two antagonist muscles like the biceps and the triceps you can keep on going you know whilst one is resting the other one's firing whilst that one's firing the other one's resting so you can go back and forth and back and forth so that's 
exactly what I want. I want that complete frying of the arm. That's what we want, okay? Fucking go for it. Go, 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 go. The goal is around 8 to 12 reps. Last set I did end up doing, I think, 6. But you want like 6 to 14, playing around with that kind of rep range. And just go for it. Like as many partials as you can on the biceps. I don't really do a lot of partials on triceps. Um, I just, I just wanted to keep the form as strict and controlled as possible and control the, the extension and get full range of motion as much as I possibly could. You could see I was like holding onto the bench at the same time just to help stabilize me so that I could really focus on the tricep. Other than that, just keep on fucking going. Like I'm going to do one more superset of three and then I decide, depending on how my arm's feeling, if I'm going to do more. Or if I'm going to call it there. So I'm going to catch you after the next superset of three, uh, three sets of each exercise. So essentially we're doing six sets of triceps, six sets of biceps after having done the tricep dips. So we've already hit the triceps twice. Um, and obviously we did the deadlifts, which is an overall compound movement. So, so far, so far, far fucking solid considering I felt like crap when I woke up this morning. I should have had that peanut butter last night, which I didn't have. I usually have peanut butter on Friday to help give me like super saiyan power and strength for my deadlifts. And I didn't have it last night. So my body's saying, but fuck you. Okay. So we're going to finish off with some biceps, a spicy, spicy finisher. So you're going to need a wall, okay? And we're going to do bicep curls. And you're going to need a spotter for this one. So I don't often use a spotter uh, because I do like, you know, doing the, the momentum and then just doing ne negatives. But this one in particular, I like to use a spotter. So what we're going to do is you're going to choose a barbell that's lighter than what you would normally handle uh, because what they're going to do is you're going to, Bring the weight up, okay? And then they're going to pull the weight down. You can also do this on a preacher curl, uh, but they're all fucking busy, so I'm just going to do it against the wall. And make sure you keep your elbow locked out against your side and your bum isn't against the wall. So you're kind of like leaning back, your scapula is leaning into the wall. You're going to lock your arms into position. You're going to bring the weight up, okay? And they're going to fight, pull the weight away from you. And you're going to obviously resist them and you're going to do that until you can't. And then they're going to help you up and then also help and then pull you down. So it's kind of like one of these like soul destroying bicep curl exercises that I freaking love. Um, but is like next level gives, you know, you really need to focus your mind in order to give like a hundred percent maximum kind of like fuck you fucking like pump in the bicep. This is for failure. This is just like, give it all and go until you literally can't anymore. So I got my spotter. You want to come in? No. <laughs> okay. More? Sorry. Yeah. I'll keep your fathers. Yeah. The other way. More. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. The Ah, shit. Ah, 
Double. <sighs> Further. Stretch. <sighs> Stretch. Another <laughs> 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 one. Stretch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stretch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one more. <laughs> Stretch. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Ah. Uh. Uh, Stretch. Stop <sighs> Ow. That was fun. Ow. Okay, so... Oh, fuck, I can't even lift my arms. So, obviously he pulled it down. Um, and as he correctly pointed out, I wasn't getting full stretch at the bottom. So if you don't get the full stretch at the top, at the, bo at the bottom, you can bring it up easier. The moment you stretch out completely, then, then you've got to re-engage the bicep and you can't. Uh, and that's when you're like, oh shit, I can't even lift it up. So then when, when you can't even lift it up again, they'll obviously help bring it up because you can see I could, I literally couldn't lift my arms to bring the, the bubble up and then they'll push it down again. Uh, and you can, then you can still fight the negative. And that's what I mean by the, the positive goes before the negative. So I couldn't lift the bubble up, but once it was up and they helped me up, um, I could still then fight that negative on the way down. Um, so that is the best fucking pump up bicep thing in the world. If you've got a spotter, if you don't, obviously you can do, um, swinging negatives. It's just not the same because you, you knowing there's a person that you're fighting against, I don't know. There's something fun about it. It's kind of like, yeah, you think you're stronger than me? Fuck you. And they are obviously in that position. Um, so I'm going to do three sets of that and I'm done. I am done. Sheet meal tonight. Mmm. Pizza, ice cream, onion rings. I've just discovered like onion rings are my new kind of like fucking favorite thing to eat on my cheat meal, onion rings. So I'm going to be having like a crap load of onion rings. But whatever the time of day or night in evening, whatever the time it is, remember you are awesome. You are kick ass and do not cheat form. Make sure you get full extension at the bottom because that, that was the, the difference between me being able to keep on going and me hitting complete and utter failure because we want arm gains. We want massive fucking arms. Have a kick-ass weekend.